Okay, we come to section A, which has 20 marks. The instruction for this uh, section is as follows. There are two questions in this section. Answer both. Each question carries 10 marks. Okay, so each question is carry 10 marks. All we need to do is we answer all the two questions in this section. Okay, so each question is subdivided into smaller uh, individual questions, which we need to answer until we complete the entire question one. Okay, so we're going to answer all the questions in this section. Okay, so let's go to question number 1A. Evaluate. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, base 2, divided by 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2, giving you answer in base 2, okay? This question is coming to max. So to solve this one, what we're going to do is, first, I'm going to convert these numbers into base 10. Then once I've converted these numbers into base 10, then I'm going to divide those numbers in base 10. Once I find the coefficient, sorry, once I find the quotient, once I find the quotient, then I'm going to convert that quotient into base 2 again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write those numbers down like that. Okay, so once I've written, I've written that expression down here like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the place values of these numbers, okay? Both in divisor and dividend, okay? So the place value of 1, let's start with a dividend. The place value of 1, the one on the far left is Let me start with 1 on the far right, not the far left, but far right. So the place value of this one here on the far right is Remember, I'm dealing with the dividend is ones. Then the next zero is twos. Then the next zero is fours. The next zero is eights. The next zero is um, sixteens. Then then one, which is at the end, is the twos. Those are the place values of those numbers. If you don't know how to identify place values of these numbers, you can check on our videos on on our playlist. You're going to find uh, the video that is entitled. Uh, place values of numbers in base 2. Watch that video. Okay, then we come to the divisor, which is 1, 0, 1, 1. What is the place value of 1 on the far right? Is 1s, then second one, that is 2s, then 4s, then 8s. The one at the far left is as the place value of 8s. Okay, that's the place value of 8. Okay, now we have written the place values. We have identified the place values of these digits in these numbers. So we go to now what I'm going to do next, we're going to multiply a number by its place value. A number by its place value. So let's start with a dividend. So we have got 1 with the place value of 32. So we multiply 1 by 32. Then we put them in brackets, then plus 0 multiplied by 16. Then we put them in brackets as well. Then plus 0 multiplied by 8. Then plus 0 multiplied by 4. Okay. Plus 0 multiplied by 2. Then 0 multiplied by 1. Okay. Divide by 1 multiplied by 8. 0 multiplied by 4. 1 multiplied by 2. 1 multiplied by 1. Okay, once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write, uh, we're going to find the products of those numbers. So, 1 multiplied by 32 give us 32. 32, then 0 multiplied by 16 will give us 0. 0 multiplied by 8 will give us 0. 0 multiplied by 4 will give us 0. 0 multiplied by 2 will give us 0. 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1. Those will be in brackets. 8 multiplied by 1 will give us 8. 4 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. 1 multiplied by 2 will give us 2. 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1. And they will also be in brackets. Then I'm going to find the sum of that. So the sum of that will be, when I add 32 plus 0, it will be 32. 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 
then 32 plus 1 will give us 33 so um, I write the 3 down there then divide by 8 plus 0 will give us 8 8 plus 2 will give us 10 10 plus 1 will give us 11 okay so now I have got 33 divided by 11 which will give me 3 okay so the answer there is 3 okay that is the quotient of uh, 33 divided by 11 will give us 3. So I'm going to convert back 3 into base 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a frame like this one. Then I'm going to put 3 there and the remainder sign there. Then I'll start dividing. 2 into 3 will go one time, remainder 1. Then 2 into 1 will go 0 time, remainder one. Now, since I found the zero E on the middle, that means my calculation has ended. Now, when I'm writing the answer, I'm going to start with the last remainder to the first remainder. So, I'm going to write 1, 1. So, the answer is 1, 1 in base 2. So, uh, dividing 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 by 1, 0, 1, 1 will give us 1, 1, base 2. Okay, these numbers that have divided are in base 2. Okay, so basically that is what happens. Okay.